Hello Lolas. Well, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and make sure you don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And one last thing, but very important, well actually two. In the description bar, there is a link that says the chatterbox. If you want to join my exclusive live streams, please click the link and join by it is a $1.99 fee a month. <laughs> to, you must be 18 years old or older to join. And also, guys, if you want to buy merch, you can also do so by clicking the link in the description bar as well. Or either the little icons. But, so today I'm here. I have my little micro preemie. Um, she's a little bit bigger than the last micro preemie that, well, in fatness, but they're both about the same length, I think. But anyway, she, I, I believe she's about 15 inches long, um, stretched out. So, um, I am going to show her. I just finished her. Um, of course I have not did my touch-ups with matting. You know how you have, you miss a spot here or there, um, and I probably won't do it for a while because this is my personal baby. So anyway, those are her little tiny T90 clothes that I was thinking of putting her on. And I'm going to put her diaper on with you guys. And I worked very hard to get those uh, vintage diaper. But this is her. And I am going to see if I can't show you guys her as much as the best way I can so like I said she is a little preemie um there's not as much movement to be seen other than her head wobbling she is you know flexible in her core because she is really soft but um there's not much movement really because she has armatures in both her arms and legs and it kind of stiffens her up um but it's very nice for posing and pictures so i really like that um i i do think that um if you get it without the ones in the legs is really will re be really nice i do like her having the full armatures though in her arms um and i i like both but i'm just saying it's she, so if you don't see her dangle as much, that's why. So she's putting on her little huggies. Let's see if you guys see. I don't know if you guys can see that. But they are Winnie the Pooh. Of course, guys, you'll see them on Instagram. So, um, yeah. So it was so fun painting her. And I know some people are like, oh, gosh, you... You painted her really fast and all that stuff, but she's really tiny, so it's not that much to, you know, it's not like I'm having to paint a really huge baby. And to be honest, um, silicone um, painting doesn't take as long as vinyl, it's just more tedious. And a little bit harder to oh my goodness he's too cute look at your little diaper on look at this oh my goodness look at this little diaper look at this little thank a with this diaper on oh my goodness so um i wanted to give her like a very like preemie glow which you know they have that little redness to them they're very you know pinky a little bit or you know, but for AA babies, it, you know, they have more of that, I call them like a cinnamon um, hue to them or something like that. Um, so I was tr going for that with her. And um, I'm really, really happy with the way her color turned out. Um, as you guys can see, she's, she's darker than any of the other babies that I've done. But, you know, like her head is very wobbly. Um, that part... Like I said, she's, it's very wobbly, but everything else is, is, is pretty much 
going to stay however you want it. But I love, like, you can turn her her hands and stuff any type of way because of the armature. So, that is really, really nice. Um, so, I did gloss her little lips and, you know, wet her eyes and do her um, nails and stuff. I did not want to um, tip her fingernails and stuff like that because... I don't know, sometimes I just, I don't, for my personal babies, I don't always necessarily want it or, or like it. Um, so, yeah, so this is her little back. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> oh, before I came on, I said I was going to go and I was going to at least root her some lashes, but I forgot and I didn't do it. That's okay. I'll root her some before her pictures, though. Um, but yeah, I said I was going to, that was my plan. And she does take a full, um, passy and I didn't put no KY on this, but let's see. Oh my God. I, I don't want to mess up her lips. I should have, well, they should, they're, they're cured. Um, I need to put some probably put some KY on it and see oh I see it is over there but I'll get it in a bit but yeah she always goes in these little natural poses but um I think she's really cute with um with the the KY and stuff I like that so she can she can suck her little thumb um, as I showed you guys before but you know, sometimes it you, it looks a little different when they're actually painted, and you can see them a little bit better. And then like you can, oh my goodness, her little cute little bum bum. I don't want to put her on her um. I don't want to cover her diaper up. <laughs> she has the cutest little bum bum. And I gave her a little um, my little signature little mole on the heel of her foot. Um, some of my darker babies usually have it because Gabby has one in on her foot. Um, she does have some really cute little veining, subtle veining here and there. Um, if you look close enough, um, it probably won't show up on camera here. But, um, and I did try to, you know, even... Paint her little ears, her little ears. Look at her little ears. Let's see. See her little ears? She's a little ears. But yeah, she's, so she's, like I said, she's, she's such a cutie. But let's, let's go ahead and put her on this little onesie. Even though I hate to, um, I wish I just had a t-shirt and not, an actual onesie because I don't want to take I don't want to cover up her um her pamper but let's see in a onesie so you can see her with some clothes on think so she can wear um so I think that's cute um and then we can um see I'll switch her hat out let me see if she can fit this. I'm not sure if she can fit this hat or not but it's a little one I thought she could. Oh, yeah, she can. So, so you can, she's going to be a cute little hat baby for a while. And then I'm going to try to root her myself. So, she will be fully completed by me. Um, and so I'm excited to... I don't know, I, I haven't bought like clothes and stuff like that, but 
Um, I'm really excited about shopping for her, buying her little tiny, tiny onesies and stuff. It's going to be so cute. I know I see like Embrace. Um, uh, not Reva. What is her name? Oh my God. I just, I can't think right now. Brain fart. Um, but I see her with her little preemie. She has a dress so cute. That's that's the one I think of when I think of micro preemies. Every time I get a micro preemie, I think of her with all the cute little clothes she has for her baby. I mean, she has all the cute stuff. So, um, I'm like thinking that. But yeah, that's her little t self. So she is sweet as a button. She is done. I'm happy with her. Um... You know, of course, sometimes it'd be like a little residue left. If I, after, I'll probably wash her one more time. Make sure I get all the, the matting residue off. But I am done, done. Not doing anything else to her. And like I said, if you want to compare that to her. Skin tone, just very red bottom feet because that's how I, the preemies that I looked up. I I thought maybe she would be Serena would be like 28 um, gestation at you know a baby that was born at like 28 gestation um, weeks, and then I said for her maybe 30, 30 between 30 and 34 weeks, something like that. Cause she doesn't look as, um, as uh, micro preemie preemie as the other one. So, um, but when I looked them up, they still was very reddish and stuff like that. So, um, my inspiration pictures were pretty red, like so. I just kind of went with that. And um, but like I said, in person, she has a. A really nice brownie color but with the red glow I'm gonna have to see I don't know if it's showing up but yeah she and it's funny because when I when you hold her like this like like when I'm when I was running upstairs with her I had her like this and the, the little weight that she has feels um so nice and real let's see she had something on her ankle oops Oopsie, oopsie, whoopsie. <laughs> Did you drop your yeah, drop look at her little bum bum. It's so cute. Like she has a perfect little bum bum. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. This is little teeny minini. Um I've been calling her teeny Marie, but I like I said I think I'm gonna give her another name. I just haven't thought of it yet. <laughs> what name it's going to be. Oh, her look color is really cute. Look at that. And she does have um, gums and a tongue. I don't know if you guys can see that. But she does have gums and a tongue. So, um, her mouth is very realistic inside. So, uh, she's really nice. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's see. I, what is she, number four? Four. She's my fourth silicone baby that I've painted now. Moving on up. Got one more coming to paint um, for my personal collection. Unless I have to paint on the other one. But yeah, there we go. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.